Hey everybody, my name is Stone, and today I'm going over how to make a random number and a random string generator. So what we want to do is make a blueprint, a function library, at least in my case I'm making a bp function, func library, and general. Um, you can also just do it inside the blueprint you're using, but I'm just going to use a function library because then I can use it wherever I want. So and we got, I'm going to call it generate random number. And there are limitations with this because we have limitations with integers. At least I don't know directly how to work around those limitations, but um, I will get to it when we see it. So we want a digits and we want a for loop. And our first index should be one. And if our first index is one, we want to select because we don't want our first integer, uh, first index to be zero. So random integer in range, there we go. Because if our first in integer is not inside the, in uh, inside the digits, we will get a number one short. So if it's a zero, for example, it wouldn't just be, because it can't be zero 100, it would just be 100. So instead of four, we have three digits. So we overcome that with generating the first number as a true number instead of a zero. So we want to generate from one to nine and otherwise we want a zero to nine. And what we want to do is make a string. And this is going to be random number. And what I'm just going to do is get an append. There we go. And we get our random number plus the incoming string. And yeah, let's just align this a little bit better. Okay, and then let's do a return. Uh, get random number to int. And then we want to return it. And the return number is gen number. And this pretty much has no direct limitations. The issue is with the integer itself. So I can do something really quickly. I'm going to also gen string number. Okay. So if we go into, if we make a new actor, which we can just call a underscore test. And go in here in our event graph make a custom event, rerun, and we can call our generate random number. And we need to make it pure because we don't need an um, execution pin. So if we have, let's say, four digits and we do a print string, let's actually make an authority, otherwise we get two uh, prints of four T and then we run let's plug this right here delay set it to like 1.5 seconds and then call rerun we go and with then let's do an append because i want to show something so if we do this let's actually add another pin to make a bit more clear in a second so and then we add this so we are generating four digits. And if we just drag this actor in here, we see we are generating number, which is same in here. So, and we have a four digit number, which is random all the time. And yeah, so, but if we go over, I think it was 10, we're getting to an issue because a integer has limitations. So, I don't think it was a 10. Oh yeah, it was a 10. You see, we should have gotten a way different number, but the integer can't display 
Tillich. Can't save or can't display? I don't know, one of the both. But you see, on the right we have still the true number, on the left we have like the rounded down version. Um, but yeah, if you want, for example, a longer just number which you can't really use as a integer, but if you have, for example, I don't know, like VBox, um, you can use a random string. I I'm actually gonna get into how to generate a random string to any length for like some kind of authentication. I don't know. Somebody has use for it. So that's why I'm making those tutorials. So let's actually make a new function. Let's not duplicate it. So let's call this function underscore generate and then string. Then what we're gonna do first is we're gonna need a array and which is gonna be digits use. So what we're gonna put in here is just pretty much a list of digits we wanna use. So we can, for example, say we have one and I can't tab, so it's gonna take a three. Okay. Zero, one, one, two, got this side, four, five, six, seven, nine, and then we can have A, B, B, C, and so on, and H. I'm just gonna finish the list here. Okay, it's not a full alphabet, but you can pretty much add any string you want generated in your string. So what we're gonna put here is length of string, which, and then we can just get in output um, generated string and this is just gonna be a string and let's make this pure and what we're gonna do again is we get a for loop for loop and we're gonna start with index one we don't have to worry about getting a zero this time because it's not a number so what we also want to use is is one one and a half is just like a generated and we want to return generated so what we want to do is get our array and get the length of it uh, I think we want to um, then we want a random integer in range nah. random integer in range and what we want to do we want to start at one and we want to minus one the length oh wait can i just get last index uh last index um oh yeah um and with that we can just and then we can just get a getter get get a reference there we go and then we want to just get this appended and yeah then we can set generated there we go and yeah um after i done this we can just really quickly uh generate random string there you go and replace this with this one and just have like this and let's just make this like 10 digits and on play we see we should get random randomly generated digits and we can also add like special um special characters so if we add, for example, a question mark, a dot, a comma, dot, dash, comma, 
underscore like just something like this so now we can see it will also generate that into the string like we see we have a question mark we have an underscore we have a dot and with this you can for example make some kind of authentication like authentication system i don't know how you would use it but i provide the information and yeah i hope you found this tutorial educate educating helpful in any way and if you liked it, maybe just leave a like. And with that said, I wish you all a nice day. And goodbye.